Welcome to Shelf Talks for Kids. I'm Amanda, a children's librarian at Woodstock Public Library. Today for Shelf Talks for Kids, we will discuss six picture books to improve the emotional literacy of your toddler or preschooler. If you are looking for picture books to help you talk with your young child about anger, love, sadness, and more, then this video is for you. These age-appropriate books can help kids learn how to identify their emotions and express themselves in healthy ways. Improving emotional literacy through stories and pictures will help them vocalize why they are feeling a certain way, encourage empathy and kindness, and help them process grief, sadness, and anger. Without further ado, here are six of my favorite picture books about emotions and feelings. Follow Ravi as he learns to control his temper and his inner tiger in Ravi's Roar. In this picture book, Ravi learns how to deal with his anger on bad days and manage noisy outbursts. Follow a young girl as she navigates impulse control in the humorous book, I Really Want the Cake. It is sure to leave a smile on your face and open up a discussion about making amends and telling the truth. Love Is by Diane Adams is filled with engaging pictures that illustrate a growing understanding of love between a little girl and a duckling she finds. It tackles the challenges of giving and receiving love and caring for others. The Rabbit Listened examines how to comfort and heal the people in your life with empathy and kindness and the power of listening through feelings of sadness. The moving text and sweet illustrations will be enjoyed by children and grown-ups alike. The Invisible Boy is a gentle story that follows Brian, a quiet child with a love for drawing, and the small acts of kindness and compassion from a classmate that help him find a way to shine. Follow Violet as she navigates the challenges of being shy and social anxiety by using the power of imagination in Violet Shrink. This book is a thoughtful story about understanding and acceptance and illustrates the importance of a parent who listens. I hope you enjoyed today's Shelf Talks for Kids. If you need any assistance with choosing picture books for your young child, we are always here to help. For more reading suggestions from our librarians, check out the other videos available from our Shelf Talks series on our YouTube channel, MyWPL. Thanks for watching.